Okay, today I'm going to show you how to count on this Japanese abacus machine. This is called Saraban. Uh, as you see here, on this uh, abacus, there is a bar, and the beads which are below the bar, they are called earthly beads, and above the bar, they are called heavenly beads. And earthly beads, each one uh, is worth one in count, and the heavenly bead is worth five in count. So the number represented by this abacus it corresponds to the beads which are towards the bar. For example, let's say if I move this bar uh, towards the sorry, the, move the bar, move the bead towards the bar. So this represents one. I move another bead towards the bar, which is two. Now the next one, which makes it three. And the last one, which makes it four. Now to show five, I move all these bars, so all the beads, away from the bar, and move this heavenly bead towards the bar. So that makes it 5. The next one is 6, which is 5 plus 1. And to show 7, I move another bead, that is 5 plus 2, that makes it 7. And the next one makes it 8, then this one is 9. Okay, to show 10, I am going to move all these beads away from the bar and go on to the next column which is the tens column. So each bead, each earthly bead here on the tens column is worth one tenth. So this makes it ten and this is twenty, this is thirty, this is forty. So to make to show eleven, so I'm going to do I'm going to keep one bead here which is 10 and move one bead here which makes it 11 because this 10 plus 1 is 11 so this is 12 this is 13 14 and to show 15 now in the tens column we have already one so that is 10 and in the ones column we can have this heavenly bead which is worth 5 towards the bar so this makes it 15. Similarly to make it 16 this column can have one this bead here that is 10. This has to have 6 here so this is 5 or 5 is already there so I'm going to move this bead here this makes it 16 and this is 17 this is 18 this is 19. To make it 20 which we already seen move all these beads away on this first column and this makes it 20 next is 21 22 23 24 and to make it 25 move these beads away and put this bead to the bar so this is 25 similarly 26 27 28 29 and this is 30 Let's count further. 31, 32, 33, 34, and this is 35. Now 36, 37, 38, 39, and this is 40. Now we have 41, 42, 43, 44, we have 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and to make it 50 I'm going to move these beads away and these beads also away and this heavenly bead in the tens column is going to move towards the bar so this is 50 and so on and so forth we go you can make it 51 52 53 54 and then 55 and 56 57 58 59 then 60 and so on. 
So for higher numbers, so use the next column. So this is the hundredth column. So this makes it 100. It's 200, 300, 400. And this is 500. Uh, and this is a thousandth column and so on and so forth. And uh, let's look at entering some numbers, some examples, like suppose we want to show 32. So this is the tenth column. So more is three earthly bits towards the bar is 30. And this is two, this, that makes it 32. To make it 45, it's 45. 48, 40 is already here, then move 5 is already here, so move these 3 up, that makes 48. Now to show 3 digit numbers, let's say, take a couple of 3 digit examples, let's say 102, so this is the 100th column, so this makes it 100, and 2, so 10th column is nothing, so you leave it as it is, then 2, 102. Then comes, uh, so let's say 348. So go to 300, this one 40, and in the ones column we want 8. So 5 and this 3, 8. Last one is 693. Let's take 693, reset this down. To make 600 comes to the 100th column. This is 500, this is 600. To make it 90 in the second column, we are going to make 90 and 3 in the last column, just put these bits up. So, this is 693. Okay, that's about counting using this Japanese abacus. Thank you.